We're gonna do a quick walk around on my wife's Specialized Turbo Levo SL. By the time I'm done with all these parts and telling you what's on this bike, you'll know why this bike is only 37 pounds. This is an expert. You know what the difference between a comp and expert and an S-Works is? Bolt-on parts. Not the frame, not all the usual stuff, just the parts that you actually bolt on. Otherwise, motor, frame, all that stuff, identical between them. Not a difference. So, how did I end up building this lighter than an S-Works? Well, let's talk about everything that's on this bike and the upgrades that it's had. So we'll start with the wheels. These are We Are One Faction wheels. Uh, she is running Michelin Wild AM 2.4s. These are not the new Wild AMs. These are the previous generation. They're an amazing tire. We are coming into winter. We'll see if she likes them. If not, that'll be a change. Uh, not sure where we'll go, but these are a fantastic summer, fall, spring tire. Um, but if they're like my Wild Enduros, they wouldn't have liked the water. So I'll probably switch her to some kind of Schwalbe that's better for the wet. Uh, she is running Axis, she has XL1 in the back. Uh, she's got the factory Praxis crank, the aluminum one that it came with. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to upgrade that to carbon. The weight savings isn't worth the cost. Maybe hope or somebody will do something awesome at some point that looks really cool uh, and that'll be nice. We do have the Sicko MTB fender system. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where things end up in here and uh, whack that carbon. So I wanted to protect that plush just keep some of the mud and stuff out of that linkage. I took the DPX2 off. I'm not a big fan of a DPX2. Uh, I took that DPX2 off and I did upgrade that to the Olin's TTX Air 1 uh, or TTX SJ because they make a special one for specialized. Um, so it's all set up. She is running an Axis Reverb. We are waiting for the 34 to come in. So this is a 31.6 with a shim. This only is a hundred drop. We're waiting for the correct diameter, so we don't need the shim, and that'll be in 125 mil. She is running uh, her specialized Mimic Expert saddle as well, and she's got a nice little specialized cage and a kind tool for that. On the front, as you can see, she is running a Pike Ultimate. This Pike Ultimate is all dialed in. Get this bike flipped around. This Pike Ultimate is all dialed in with a Vorsprung Seekus. She is a tiny rider, uh, 115 pounds geared up. So we have done a lot to get her suspension dialed so she can get lots of travel when she goes riding. As you can see, she has her nice boobs rule sticker. She is running just Yeti bars that we had. They're cut to the right width. She's not sure if she wants a little higher or a little lower, so we're not gonna buy bars uh, until she's ready to go, and then we'll probably move to the one-ups. She is running code RSCs on this and MTX red brake pads. Center lock XTR rotors uh, with uh, her Industry 9 Hydra hubs. So, you've heard me say it before, I'm gonna say it again, if you have not upgraded every bike you own to MTX braking brake pads, well, you're missing one of the best. People, you tires upgrade, this brake pads upgrade, you can run smaller rotors and get more power than you were getting out of big rotors and factory pads. It works, they work good, I love them. Um, again, with the Dekine component there, uh, and St. Pedals. Uh, and again, she's, we left the SWAT system in for now. Um, this is threaded, so we may uh, dump the SWAT and go to the EDC. We have it. Um, I just don't have any more bottoms to put in. She's all axis. Um, we do have one extra cable now, but it still looks super clean. Specialized does an amazing job. Their bikes, they do such a good job of how clean they look. There's not a bunch of strange wires and sensors. Uh, and we did get the center lock sensor. Um, I mean, you can't fault them for how good their bikes look. They do such a good job of that. That's just incredible. On the small, one of the things that's really interesting, you don't want to take this uh, guard off. You can see when it hits it. This crown, because this bike came with a Fox 36, that Fox 36 would have smashed. This crown 
looks like it might miss, might miss. Um, I might take it off and look, uh, but the reality is it might miss. It, you can't tell, and if it hits, boy, you're gonna break a frame, and that's just not worth it. So, uh, again, better look at that Olin's. The one of the reasons we went to this uh, rear shock, big, full, tall water bottle. The biggest bottle you can find. Um, the big 24 ounces. They fit perfect. So that's just huge uh, for when she wants to just bottle ride. Plus, if you've not ridden these rear shocks, um, I have it on my Norco Optic. Uh, it's on this bike they are so good they've done such a good job um, they, they feel so smooth uh, and they ride so nice well you can tell one of the things you can tell everything is nice and soft matter of fact the front end sags under its own weight we are still running this at 52 and a half I was gonna push it to 55 I think I may throw a cascade component sling on this for her let me know what you think about that in the comments I'd be curious are you running a cascade component sling on your uh, Levo SL uh, that would be pretty rad to know so Hope you guys enjoyed this walk around. You can now see with the right mix of parts, you don't even have to go to carbon cranks and you can take a comp, make these upgrades for probably less than a Swerks and end up with exactly what you want built, how you want. Seek us all the good stuff and it's lighter than an S-Works Turbo Levo SL. So pick the color you want then build the bike you want. That's what I learned about this bike. Super rad bike. Uh, you can check out my video. I had one for three weeks. It's an awesome bike. So I ended up buying her one and uh, we pimped this thing out. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you out on the trails.